watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with his trainer Ismael Salas. He's wearing white with the Union Jack trim. Six feet three, official weight, 15 stone, 10 pounds, two ounces. His professional record, 28 victories, including 26 wins by knockout with three defeats. From London, the two-time world champion, former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and former heavyweight champion of the world, David Haymaker. weighed in at 15 stone, 4 ounces. As a professional, 29 victories, including 19 knockouts, only two defeats, the fighting pride of Liverpool, WBC Cruiserweight World Champion, Anthony Okay, nice. fellas, both you both ready. Great straight away in tow. Both watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Go. One man. of the most compelling returns of recent years. And now it's over again. Tony Bellew predicts it'll be even more emphatic to the demands of what tactics in this sizzling cauldron car for. You don't want to give David Hay too much of the early charge. Maybe hey, just letting a few shots go there, then back it up. Crucial, looking at David Hayes' legacies, the fight set, all the problems, the rumours about how much sparring we're hearing in the last 24, 48 hours, quite a bit he has. So, timing. He's had a bit of success with that jab here early on. David Hay sort of trying to take control behind as well. Yeah, he's trying to time that over the top of the jab. Lose his balance there, Bellew. It's a sharp start there. Yes, good work. He landed a couple of hooks there and just sort of pushed Tony Bellew off balance. But looking right now, nobody's landing the big shot yet. You can tell they're both probing with that jab. They're both trying to snap that jab. And seeing if, you know, if it does, you can follow with a big right hand. Right now, the sharp jabs are basically a protection punch to yes. see. Early on, good work from Bellew. Nice right hand by Bellew. Committing in shots. David Hayes doesn't look that comfortable. I know it's very early, but he doesn't look ever so slightly, David Hayes. Good right hand there. Well, a couple of night for Tony Bellew looks at him as if to say, that's not a problem for me. To impress the judges. in the corner last time. Just a little mark under Hayes' right eye. Who won that first one? And he had some decent yeah, shot set, yeah, so I've got to give that one to yeah, David Hay. Yeah, I see that right hand at the end. It didn't land clean. I thought Belly rolled with it. But it Otherwise, a battle of the jabs. And it's still, obviously, nobody's going to stop believing. This rematch was meant to happen just before Christmas. Hay pulled out four weeks before with a problem with his bicep. It's Belly. I think when he's there, one thing he's got to do, though, he's got to cut the ring off a little bit better. And Belly's able to circle around and find the spaces. Well, he's found himself in the light heavyweight division for too long. He's looked rejuvenated up at cruiserweight. And this is really... You know, I like this in fair. There's a couple of things by, by Hay. And that's how I bow you out of position. Combination good and ho as he was first time around. Still looking to hurt Benny early with that right... Yeah, he's trying to set up the shots. Body shot as well from Hay. In with that. Looking for a big shot there and landing to Bellu. Bravado. Yeah, found the right hand and look at Bellu. That's the fat skill. A lot of weight on the front foot, not the back. That was the right that was ruptured last time. Delicately with that. Bellu comes in with the right hand. It's just starting to open up a bit more. And it could also just be a habit that he's been training. Last time, Coach David Hay. This time, he's turned to Ishmael. 
Oh, good right hand by Hay again. Just, just nicked it from him. I've got a two very close rounds for Hay to zero. Those two rounds, but he was trying a lot harder. He's used a lot more value to get them wins. I'm worried for David Hay in terms of how long can he keep this going. Tony Bellew now starting to apply the pressure. Telling the story here early on. Trying to figure out exactly what the plan is so far. You know, Harry kind of backs up Bellu to the ropes, but you got to be able to create the opening for yourself. And Bellu's kind of doing the same thing. He kind of backs up and they're just kind of like going through the motions with these jabs and seeing if anything opens up. But not a lot of creativity from either guy. He's Tony Bellu. He's in it from a very good counter puncher. Missing quite a while. Cool. Again, cool. From Bellu, great defense. Oh, Bellu's hey. 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 with 15 seconds left in the third. Here's the exchange of how it starts over here. They're kind of swinging wildly. And then, Carl, jump in if you want. And you see these shots here, the left top and the right hand, clean on David Hayes' chin. But as he drops to the floor. Here's the second knockdown. Second Again, right here, he's still hurt. And Bellu's able to land those. For what I talked about earlier in the week, where I was really curious. Hayes going to swing, but Bellu's got the accuracy. Again, from Hayes. on your punches. Oh, good shot. Right, and again, and again, and Hay is just taking these punches, and the reflexes are not what they once were. The reflexes aren't there. Big shots from Tony Bellin, he's stepping in range, it's not going to be long before he learns something. It's time David Hay, but this is a real crisis. And his feet don't follow his punches, so he's throwing shots right of range, good on that good combination by Bellin. Big go for there from Hay. Big shot for Bellew again. Great accuracy. And he suddenly looks the puncher in that. Bellew has a lot of trouble when he's clipped on the top of the head here. David See, Hay. See right there. Bellew cuts off the ring. There he just did it a little bit. Trying to get it back here, David Hay. Almost hits him. Yeah. He's got to be careful. But he's almost hitting Hay, then shaking his head. As if to say, poorly. Yeah, Bellew, look, Bellew looks confident. He's walking him down, feeling like he's the ball. Mouth open. Look in the body, Bellew. It's brilliant so far from the bomber. The first knockdown, and did the legs, the right foot just go again awkwardly? It, 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 it was probably why he started this fight on his front foot anyway, because David Hicks stands is not to be a front foot heavy guy. So maybe you see a specialist this week, but he's been saying absolutely we're going to recover from. No, I mean, the body showed here, and it showed before that he's just been to Dave Goldwell's plan, isn't he? Yeah. Nice right hand there. And when they get his down, push off the back foot, and it's hard to do that. That's his shot for Tony Bellew. And that was a really heavy fall from the fight in the legs of Barry Bendy. He says, come on. David Hayes showing immense bravery. He's got a hold. He's got I don't think Hayes should be brave, I think he's just holding. Bellew shows and his big start, and it's repeat for Tony Bellew. He does it all over again, and Trutic, and it is surely the end for David, who went out on his shield, so brave, and in titiful boxing from Bellew, who took his opportunities, it's the respect between them. Well, everybody was talking before this fight, if David Hayes' body could, he really is. He's been an underdog. It's a younger man's sport. He's only 35, Tony Bellew. He's been around forever, but his freshness and his it's momentum. David Hay early on, as the fight he still up, carries that punch. And Bellew just kept in control, kept confident, picked some lovely, accurate heavy know Joshua Bellew, because they're great buddies. Where on earth does the Tony... Tony AJ, but it's not going to happen. There's the passion. There's what it meant to this man. Tony...